Hi guys, it's Alexa. Welcome to my channel. As you can clearly see, I am at a playground. Well, as I've said many times, I have high functioning autism and I love to make videos where I review certain objects as sensory tools for people with autism and other sensory processing disorders. The object I will be reviewing in this video is the swings. Everyone loves to go on the swings, including most kids, so it may not seem like a sensory tool, but it actually is. I have played on swings all my life, and they have really helped me with my autism. The swings have always been my favorite part of the playground, and they even make swings that are meant for people with autism. In other words, therapy swings. A lot of occupational therapists like to use swings as a sensory tool, and swinging was definitely one of my favorite parts of OT as a kid. Let's get into the reasons why swinging is good for autism. The first reason is definitely the most obvious, because of the movement you experience when playing on a swing. The movement is very relaxing. You can go as fast or as slow as you want. I like to go fast. Fast movement is something people with autism love. For some reason, it's very comforting. I actually read online that kids with autism aren't confident enough to move around, like run around, climb things, and jump up and down like typical kids. So the swings are a great way to get that movement in and be more active. As long as you don't go too high for your size, the swings are a very safe way to process your senses and build up your confidence. If you're very hyper, swinging is a great way to calm down and process those senses. Swinging is a form of physical therapy, which is probably the reason why a lot of occupational therapists use it as a sensory tool. It's also great for calming anxiety and for developing gross motor skills. Another reason why swings are good for autism is because of how flexible they are. You can move however you want in them. I usually do the normal swinging movement when on the swing, like this, but you can also spin in it like this. And you can also rock side to side like this. You can even do a combination of movements, like swing and rock side to side at the same time, like this. Woo! This is very relaxing. Or if you're on a cuddle swing, which I'm not, you can lie on your back or stomach and swing. That's actually what my occupational therapist used to do. She would have me lie on my stomach in a cuddle swing and then swing me, which I found to be very relaxing. However, I don't recommend standing on a swing because you could likely break the swing from doing that. Swings aren't meant to carry your entire body weight. In fact, all swings have a weight limit of some sort. Not only that, but it's not even comfortable to stand on the swing. Swings are meant to be sat on. Not only that, but swinging is good exercise. It's one of those exercises that I actually like doing. For example, I'll swing for a half hour straight, and although I feel tired after that, I'm still enjoying the movement and can keep going. And the last reason why swinging is good for autism is because kids with autism normally have a vivid imagination. Swinging is a good way to let out your imagination. For example, when I play on a swing, I'll usually close my eyes and imagine that I'm flying or getting my driver's license, which I'm currently in the process of doing, or anything else I dream of. I even love to listen to music while swinging because it just makes swinging that much more fun. And it makes me want to swing longer too. The only downside to swings for autism is that they can be dangerous if you're not careful on them. You could fall off the swing, the swing could break while you're on it, or if you jump off while the swing is too high, you could really hurt yourself. Not only that, but if you're swinging with other people nearby, for example, at a public playground, you could accidentally kick someone while swinging, which is never fun. So yeah, be careful when swinging and watch where you swing too. Overall, I give swings a definite thumbs up as a sensory tool for autism. If you have autism yourself or have a child with autism, 
I highly recommend adding swinging to your daily routine. Swinging is really good even if you're an older kid, teen, or adult with autism. Swinging is for all ages, not just little kids. If you have autism or another sensory processing disorder, I even recommend getting a swing for your home if you can. If not, there's likely a playground near you that you can go to and go down the swing at. Maybe your local park or somewhere like that. The thing is, people with autism like to uh, swing for longer periods of time. And at a public playground, you have to take turns with the other people there. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope you give swinging a try. If you like this video, please hit that subscribe button and turn on post notifications. I post new videos every Friday. You may also follow me on Twitter at Alexa underscore Gerard 98 and on Instagram at Alexa underscore Gerard. If you have any questions or requests for upcoming videos, please comment them down below. Thank you for watching. Bye.